Hi guys. So I'm just here to say that um, I won't be continuing with posting my videos about Nigeria because I have lost all the data, all the videos, everything that has to do with Nigeria. Um, it might be like, oh, why, why are you coming on here to tell us? I'm just trying to be a little bit accountable, you know, because I already posted like um, a sequel. I already posted like I was going to be posting in parts. And then some of you might already be anticipating day two, day three and everything. But I'm just here to let you guys know that I won't be continuing with the videos. And honestly, it hurts me so much because these are more than videos to me. Like, I've actually cried so much. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm just coming back from work. And I just said, let me just do this video and just get over with. I've cried so much. I cried two days ago. I've cried today because I came to another realization today that... I actually thought I could save them and at work today I just realized that I couldn't save my videos like they were gone and honestly it's more than videos like you know when you've made videos that are more like memories video with your family video with your friend friend that friends that you've not seen for two years and you're not sure when next you're going to see them so you made those videos to keep memories and you know I wanted to edit them and put them on YouTube cause, so that I can always come back and, you know, when I miss my friends, I can just come back to it. But all the videos are gone. All my wedding preps video that I wanted to post, I wanted to keep the memories. It's not even about the posting, yeah. It's more it's more about the, the memories that I captured. Those memories meant so much to me and I just couldn't save them. I mean, I'm using an Apple. I just thought that I could actually do something about my videos but i couldn't my memories are gone guys if anybody ever told me that i'll cry for videos i mean a lot of things happen to me now like a girl a girl but this one really 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 pain me because uh, they are very like they are priceless memories that money cannot buy there are memories that you never have again and you just believe that oh if you've made the video you can always come back to it but it's gone the videos are gone so that's the update guys and maybe i'll just start with a new series of and find something to post what i'll just do is well thankfully some of my friends have videos i'm going to be creating a list for them to like send the videos that they've like made for me send them to that link and also my glam my glam team like my makeup artist she made some videos i've asked her to send them to me they're actually on instagram already on their own personal page but i'm just gonna post them here so that you guys can see and have a glimpse of how my wedding went down but i won't lie um very very hot like i've actually been very sad since saturday that i had to format but i was still hoping that all oh, my videos were kind of saved in google on google because i'm going to come to the realization and my phone was gone my videos were gone. I just wanted to let you guys know so you're not expecting and you guys just see that I've just gone out of posting about Nigeria. I didn't leave you guys hanging. This is what has happened. Let me just give you guys like a backstory. So on Wednesday, like today, I'm making this video on a Monday, first day of the week. And last week, Wednesday, I, I was editing a video for YouTube. I mean, I was editing day two to post on Thursday. So overnight that's what i do i usually run my download when i'm done editing i run it overnight so the next morning i can upload on youtube so in the evening it should be ready to set up so i edited my day two on youtube and uh, for youtube on on wednesday and on thursday was up and then i was trying to upload on youtube my my my, my apps were working and then i was like let me just first start this thing and that was where everything just turned upside down and I lost my data. I, I couldn't I couldn't bring my phone back up. There was nothing on earth that I did not do. I read so many things on Google. I watched so many videos. I paid for some software to help me. Nothing worked. So I understand that some of you are like, oh, you didn't back up anything at all. I am backed up only up till January. I couldn't continue backing up because it's expensive. And I just thought because you're using an Apple, I didn't expect that something like this would happen to my phone. Like I, I stopped backing up since January. 
because he was asking me to pay about 30 pounds per month just because i want to pack up on icloud and i couldn't afford to pay that because i'm already paying 100 pounds for this phone i'm paying 100 pounds for this phone for the data and other things that come out like insurance and everything so i didn't want to add that expense to it so i just you know didn't just update because i believe that apple has that insurance that i nothing's going to happen even if anything happens they can always get it back all that kind of mindset that was what i had because i bought a two terabyte phone and i didn't expect that this would happen so apparently my phone was kind of full i didn't even know and that morning the phone was hanging i said let me just restart and i shouldn't have restarted my phone like i shouldn't have restarted my phone if i didn't restart my phone all these things would not have happened but i restarted it and for good 48 hours my phone was on the boot loop when i mean what i mean by boot loop is that the apple logo will be coming on and going off coming on and going off that was what it was doing and i was actually even praying to god that god should help me i just wanted it to come back on so on on saturday no on friday night i checked my google photos on my other phone my samsung and i saw some pictures from nigeria so in my mind i'm like oh ah some of my videos saved oh thank god then my husband went to city center on saturday to help see what they can do and every of the shop that he went to said that he should take my phone to apple that they can help that it's a software issue you know why you think that if you take your phone to apple apple couldn't help me the only thing that they said they could do was format my phone and because i saw what happened like i saw some pictures on google i had the assurance that oh my phone was okay that i have my videos and then we formatted it on saturday right so only for me to get everything together today and i wanted to make a video <laughs> i wanted to edit a video and i realized my videos are gone anyways i just wanted to let you guys know and i'm so sorry for crying but i'm very very hurt like apple couldn't do anything for me like it couldn't help me apple apple they all apple i end brand i know samsung would have done something i mean i used to have samsung too i play samsung oh thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next video guys